Hi, today I will show a tutorial on how to use scattering in 3ds Max to create a dystopia city. Um, so first of all, we have this base geometry that we can scatter around this plan that has been created. Uh, in order to do scattering, you go to create, uh, do a drop down to compound objects and we select the geometry that we would like to scatter and then we hit scatter and then we can go pick distribution object uh, which is the base that we're going to be scattering on and we can pick the plan that we already have here currently there's only one geometry on it we can do adjust a few things and we can have a duplicate of let's say 50 um, of just a randomized scattering around. There's a few way that you can control it um, and change it to area. You can skip a few different arrangement, random faces along the edge, um, along the vertices, midpoints, which is a bit more of an organized result. Um, There's a few more things that you could adjust, including uh, under the transformation. You could do a little bit of rotation. And a slightly local transition. And also um, some scaling as well. We do one in the Z direction. So like different building heights. Um, a little bit more of a control uh, scattering is of the city is that we could use object paint in order to do that first we could select the object that we would like to scatter and hit um, pick objects and then we can use a paintbrush um, it's good to add some distance on into it as well so that it wouldn't be um, too overpopulated And there's a few other things that you could adjust with it. For example, the positioning of it on the uh, UV, W axis section is a bit like an XYZ. Um, and then we could also add in some rotation as well as the scaling of the um, buildings. It could go like random scaling, uh, put in a range, if you don't want anything too crazy. Yeah, um, therefore you can paint on some more buildings as you wish. Um, it's a very disorganized gathering arrangement that could be used for um, some sort of dystopia future.